What's good family? In this video, I'm doing another vinyl wrap, but this time it's somebody else's bike and your boy's getting paid for it. And my man said he wanted something loud, something that turned heads, something that was unique. And I think we got that. The black wrap I'm laying down is Avery Dennison's Gloss Mystery Black Metallic. And man, it's a dope color. It's got blues and purples in it. Sexy. Now this right here is why I think motorcycle wrapping is sometimes, you know, it ain't worth it. It is a lot of work. This is just one piece that goes to this tank assembly. And with this piece, I have to wrap around each edge and, you know, making sure that vinyl wrap is nice and secured and that it don't lift and that it don't go anywhere. This is the first time I'm getting paid, so you know I'm doing my best. And this job took a lot longer than I wanted it to, and oh my goodness gracious. I'm telling y'all, sometimes it's more cost efficient to just buy new fairings because this was about 50 hours worth of work and look at those edges nice clean and secure but this is about 50 hours worth of work and you know with the, what i charged him i made about five dollars an hour which is trash like i said it was the first time i ever had charged somebody for this so i didn't want to get too crazy with my pricing because you know i'm an amateur this purple here this is kpmf's gloss imperial orchid and man it's it's nice too this purple also has blue pigment in it and it just looks so clean i really do think we achieved what he wanted this tank piece may have been able to been wrapped in one piece but i think you know you stress the material less if you do multiple colors and plus multiple colors makes the bike stand out even more i feel like this purple accent it just works so well So what you see me doing right here, removing this tape, this is one of the first issues I ran into because I ran my knife a little too deep and I cut the tape that was underneath it. Now I laid that tape down so that I don't cut the vinyl that's underneath it or an OEM plastic. So this was a little nerve wracking because I didn't know if this purple would be able to lay back down as straight as it was when I first cut it. One of the things I noticed with wrapping, I do have a vision of how everything's gonna work. I try to really use the body lines that come with the bike, but sometimes while I'm laying things down, you know, I get a little worried. And I was a little worried about this at first. I was not feeling how it was coming out, but the end result, mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> Moving on to the front fairing, you see I'm making sure that my film is going in the right direction. With all these different pros and pigments, it's important that you wrap everything in the same direction so that way you're never having any color clashing. You might have something looking a little a little blueberry-ish in one lighting and then having it looking straight purple in another light. So you want everything to look, be the same color. And like I said here, you can see some of that blue pearl and that blue pigmentation popping through this purple. I really think he got something unique here. Now this was tough to, to do because right now there is a shortage on the raw material that it takes to produce vinyl wrap. So a lot of the films are having shortages, back orders with no end in sight. So I think we were really lucky to find these colors. At first he was looking to do something more holographic, but we couldn't find anything. And I was surprised that these colors are still in stock because they are, they are nice. All right, moving on to the front tire fender. Man, this is the first time I've ever used this much gloss in a wrap. And it is, it's so satisfying to use. It's so satisfying to just stretch this, this beautiful material. One thing I would recommend if you do do a gloss with anything, it does help to use some sort of pearl or some sort of metallic color because those pearls and metallics will distract you from all the orange peel that you get 
with a gloss vinyl. I don't believe any vinyl can ever get that showroom finish when you clay bar and you sand and you wet sand a gloss paint job. But if you're really particular with things like that, you know, you gotta go with a metallic because that'll, that'll distract your eye from that orange peel. At least that's how I see it. right here I'm just stretching the film making sure everything goes nice and easy there's not too much stress in this because for one I'm not using heat to overstretch it I'm just using a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease and just being patient with the with the technique again this black is Avery Dennison and one of the things I like about Avery Dennison is just it's so easy to work with KPMF isn't bad either but I noticed that Avery Dennison does not too much tack with it so you're never really feeling like anything is permanent you're gonna see right here coming up that I actually have to lift uh, a little bit of what I did and it's just easy to just lay it right back down and get back to what we were doing. Here it is, lifting this up just to reposition it, taking out as much of that stress as I can. I want it to all lay nice and neat over the seam here because once you cut it, if it's too much stress near that cut line, then it can wrinkle up on you right there at the cut and then those little edges can lift. So you want that, as, you want to get that as flat as you can when you're laying it over some knife and tape. I know it's other times when I do these rap videos, you know, I kind of cut through things, try to make it as entertaining as possible. But at the same time, it's not showing y'all the whole process. It's not showing y'all, you know, what it's like to lay a whole piece in. I'm still not even gonna show this whole mud, this whole uh, fender right here. This is just showing the top part. If you've noticed, I do have some knife tape in there. So after I run these cuts, you'll see the purple that I already laid. And then after I go over this, I'm gonna have to lay more black on the rest of the fender. Another reason why I like to do multiple colors and multiple pieces of wrap on bike parts is because they're so oddly shaped that it would waste a lot of material to try to do this in one piece. You'd have a lot of off cuts, so it, it would just waste all of that material. Doing it this way, you can minimize the amount of material you need because you can cut it to size. This is a pretty interesting experience for me because this used to be my dream bike, but ever since I started riding track, you know, I don't have that want for this bike anymore. It's still extremely sexy, and I'm looking at it like, damn, this thing looks good. But there's just no want for it like there used to be. But thank y'all for sticking around this far. Let's go ahead and hop into the reveal. I don't even know what to say. Oh my god. Yeah, when I sent you that one picture, you could only see the purple. Yeah, did you, did right you notice it's blue too? <laughs> and then the purple has blue in it as well. Dude, that is sick. You know, this is this. Are you sure this is in my back, bro? Yes, sir. Dude, this is fucking sick. Dude, you can't give me another one. You did a fantastic <laughs> job on that. Appreciate oh, you. Dude, I'm, I, I, you know, I, I don't even know what to say, dude. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, it came out pretty nice, right? I'm just shocked. Oh, man. You did a fantastic job. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I figured this <laughs> purple would look so good in here like this. That looks, it honestly looks incredible. You know, maybe my idea was trash, but yours is better. <laughs> Yeah, just tried to work with the body lines a lot because it helps, especially like, so these pieces right here, they were tough because it was like, I don't know if you remember that, like cheap plastic. Yeah. So it's kind of rough and it doesn't really stick that well to it. Same with this top piece. I'm just surprised that Honda went so so cheap with some of the, some of the finishings. It looks so good. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. 